it's time for your daily crypto update with Framework Fortune. Let's dive in because I don't want to waste any time. There's a lot to talk about. So Bitcoin did end up coming back up and breaking over 50,000, but it got rejected at that uptrend. So it's still trying to hold the 50,000 area at the moment. We'll see if that can continue to hold tonight. And then we could see another little curl up and a break back above the uptrend. But if Bitcoin starts going down any at all and we see it start to drop below 48,000, I would get a little concerned. Ether is still looking very bullish. We are getting that bounce. I am still expecting this rebound this weekend for all the cryptocurrencies like I predicted yesterday. And so far we're looking pretty good, especially on Ether. It's broke above 4,000 again. Looks like by the end of the night we may see it break over 4,200. If it doesn't, look for a short pullback maybe to this 3,800 area and then another move up. But still very bullish on Ether. Now Litecoin pretty much doing the same thing. It did have that big sell-off bouncing off of 300. Uh, like I said, that was a pretty good area and it even did get close to that 280 area which I really liked. For now, still consolidating, but we could see this start to rip up as well. Dogecoin, however, has broken back above the trend line, is bullish again, and it's got rejected off the 60 cent area, but because it is back above this trend line, I would expect 50 cents to hold for a little while, especially with Elon's recent tweet about possible Dogecoin being used or whatever. They're looking into Dogecoin as a possible payment system and how to make it better. At least that's what I got from the tweet. If I misunderstood that, let me know in the comments. But that is going to be some more hype. And I would imagine next week we'll see Elon tweet something again that will affect the crypto markets. This is starting to be a repeating trend where every week or every other week, Elon likes to throw a little dip in there to mess with everybody or throw something in there good to make a nice little spike. A lot of people on social media right now are hating on Elon and I get why you'd say that because it is a form of manipulation but let's be honest that is only one or two cryptos he has manipulated so far if you want to consider that and that is Bitcoin and Dogecoin there are plenty of cryptos that are super bullish that he is not talking about at all so don't pay attention to all the social media hype stick with your due diligence stick with your chart analysis Stormex trying to break back above the downtrend. It is finding support right at that 40 cent area currently. I do think this still could get on another run and break this 5 cent area very soon, but we'll see what happens with it. The top gainer of the day and one we've been following very closely and I predicted this would bounce off of a dollar and boy has it done it. Nice bounce off a dollar all the way up to $1.50. Unfortunately, I did not get in this. I am in a few other positions. But I probably should have listened to myself and grabbed this at a dollar as it has made a very nice run. Currently consolidating, maybe looking for another leg up after this. So we'll see what happens tonight and come back and touch on it tomorrow. But Matic making some nice profits for some people if you had got back in here at this dollar area. Good job on you. TRB, which is another one I'm still predicting to be pretty bullish. It has broke above this downtrend currently trying to hold support in this 107 area it's held that area a couple of times back through here but you can see currently it is right now holding right above that and if that continues to hold i would expect trb to start making a move back up here very soon especially if it's broken above this downtrend so this is one of the ones i am holding and you can see right here on my portfolio where I had gotten in it before at 123 and was holding it, I actually added a little bit more at 131 because I thought it was going to rip, but I have since averaged down at 104. So somewhere I'm somewhere in the area of about 116, 117 for my price. Not too happy with it being down this low, but it's not that far from breaking back over 110 as you can see right here on the five minute. And I think cryptos will get hot as the night goes on. Usually on weekends, especially Friday nights, we tend to see a pretty nice spike in cryptos. Anchor, another one which I am holding, it has bounced off of that 13 cent area back above the downtrend. It's getting held up at 15 cents, but so far holding this 14 cent support. And if that holds, I could see this come back up and break this 15 very soon. And if you look here, you can see I did buy 13, almost 1400 of Anchor at 16 cents. 
and then I average down about half of that position at around 13.7. So currently, once it breaks over 15, I will be about break even. Looking forward to make the next move up. As long as it stays above the trend line, I think we'll at least see the 17 cent test and maybe at least get a pop up to some of these previous highs of 19 or 20. But if volume really comes back into the crypto markets hard, like I'm kind of expecting, I think we will get a new high, like I said, around that 25. OGN, which is the origin protocol, is another one that I am currently holding. It bounced off of this trend line, and as soon as it broke the downtrend or came back up to the downtrend, that's when I started looking for an entry. As you can see right here, I'm in at 131. This was a little failed swing that happened. I bought it at 160 and then it crashed and I got out at 150. Nice little stop loss. But currently I am in this a little bit at the 131 area. So, so far looking good. And I think we'll see it tonight along with a lot of the other cryptos make another move up. So looking for some profits there. We'll see what happens. Now one crypto I have not talked about and I just, I've seen it, but I just ran across it. Coinbase, if you don't have the Coinbase app, We'll do these little videos where you can earn a couple of dollars in cryptos. I always do it because it's free money. Why would you not take any free money? Even if it's only a couple of dollars, that's a couple of dollars that you did not have beforehand. So Scale was one of those last night that I saw pop up with one of those videos. And I actually watched it very closely and did a little more research. And I am very, very interested in this. I think Scale has huge potential in the long run as it works as a part of the Ethereum blockchain in a sense. And because I'm bullish on Ethereum, I think this one will run with Ethereum because of its correlation. Now we do see it is in this nice big triangle. Did drop back below down to the trend line, but did bounce up. So break over 60 cents, we could see this really start moving. And I think there's a very good possibility this is one of those ones that may get up to the five to ten dollar area. There is a circulating supply of about a billion, so that is more than I would like. But this technology is all about scaling up on the Ether blockchain and making things cheaper and faster. And as you can see, when I saw that it was under 50 cents, I bought as much as I could at that time. Multiple buys there that went in because I put in a market order, it all didn't quite fill right away but you can see it was all under 50 cents. I like this under 50 cents, hands down, just about every time it will dip below 50 cents, I will probably grab more unless something dramatic happens in the crypto markets that changes the whole direction. And the rest of the market kind of doing the same thing, little bounces here and there. CRV, another one trying to break out, coming close to the trend line at that $4 area resistance. We can see that breakout possibly tonight. May look for a day trade on that. Uh, OMG is another interesting one in this downtrend. It did, it did get rejected right there. So we'll see if it can hold up this 10, 25-ish area and curl back up and maybe break there. But it's kind of the same patterns all the way around. But that's all I got for you guys right now. I think over the weekend we'll have a little bit more clarity on which way the market's going. Actually, I think that will probably happen by tonight. And right after this is posted, I plan on doing a live stream. I may not be trading personally because all my money is wrapped in the swings that I'm in. But I'll do it because I know there's been some questions and stuff like that. And then we can also check up and see what these prices are here in the next few hours. So if you haven't yet, think about subscribing to the Framework Fortune Daily Crypto channel. So that way you can stay up to date with your favorite coins. And if there's any coins that I haven't covered, leave them in the comments below.